Hello there, Bo here, and I'm in Berlin for Superboot. This is Europe's biggest synth and music tech event, and as you can see, it's also quite different. And today I hope to bring you some of the most interesting news from the synth and music tech world. And we're not only checking out new gear, uh, I'm also giving some gear away. So here in my backpack I have some, some secret stuff. Um, we got some synth books, some small synthesizers, just some fun stuff. I'm gonna see if I can find some fans, uh, some viewers of the channel and give some stuff away. So Jorb, give me your first impressions. Superbooth is very impressive. <laughs> it feels like Bonner. I feel like I'm at a festival. Today we are presenting the limited black edition of the Uno Synth Pro that you can see here. The black edition is basically the Synth Pro that everybody, that all the user loved uh, with uh, the paraphon a paraphonic dual fit synthesizer um, with all the all, all the possible connection and now in a black uh, in, in a black edition. Well, let's try. At the Superboot we are showing the, for the first time our new interface, uh, the Quattro I.O. Uh, which is a four input uh, portable interface with everything you need for actually recording uh, uh, all around uh, um, field recording uh, or even in your or, or even in your studio or, or for any live session on top of the uh, of the interface we're gonna show off also our our super nice pedals the X gears uh, we actually have the reverb the delay the modulation and the, uh, and the distortion uh, up there and yeah that's what we are what we are showing off Let me give you some quick thoughts about some gear that I tried here at Superboot. Firstly, the Polyon Play. So it's not a deluge, it's not a Digitac, it seems to be its own thing. There's similarities to the Digitac in terms of the eight sample tracks, they're monophonic, and then it's similar to the deluge in terms of just how it looks and the way you interact with the buttons. But the workflow is very different and it feels like its own thing. It's very performance oriented and was really quick for me to understand how to make a beat on it. So I am intrigued. And then I can just go sample, perks, shaker. Oh, then I can do it like this, and I can do reverb. Now you have to hold it. And I can change this chance as well, always. And I can change here to uh, uh, let's see here octave up, yeah. I didn't have high expectations for it, but now that I've tried it, I'm kind of intrigued. So you let me know if you want to see a Bowbeats review of the Polyon Play. Then we have the Soma Laboratory Terra, and it was a beautiful experience. I got to try it hands on. It's a really unique instrument, it's very tactile, very fun to play, also super niche. <laughs> All 
right, so I'm here with Fred from Fred's lab yet again. Yeah. Another super booth. Another super booth and it has not been a year. Fred is here to show us a new prototype. So it's not a finished thing, but it is exciting. And I really wanted to share it with you all here. So could you just briefly tell us what kind of synthesizer is it? It's basically a tech demo for a new kind of engine. And it's based on ideas from resynthesis, additive synthesis and wavetable mixed together. So the Manatee is basically a digital synth. It has nine voices, three parts. So it's a multi-timbral device like we always do at, at Fred's lab. We like to keep the, the, the machine small and with a lot of possibilities. And it explores tones that are usually not found in other uh, synthesizer because of this new type of synthesis. In addition to that, you will get like the regular modules that you can get on a normal VA synth, which means like a really good filter, some very snappy and precise envelope. Everything is like calculated down to sample level or even smaller and overall you get also effects per part like delay and so a little bit like what you find on the buzzy but with a bigger interface a clearer display because you have like a screen that shows the parameters and also led rings around the part so when you switch from one part to another you always know more or less where you are So I'm here with Stimming and uh, is that how you say Stimming? Stimming, yeah. Stimming. That's my last name. Hello. I didn't know. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, truly my last name. And you have something cool here to show us. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'm still showing my instant mastering chain, which is a portable package for people who need a thick and loud sound, mostly on stage, but also in the studio, um, all in a portable package. It's one kilo. You see, it's really tiny. It's like I have really small hands carbon housing compressor EQ unique drive stage based on Lunda and I'm happy to show it again here and I'm happy to be here so I found a channel viewer and your name is my name's Jay what do you give the man who has everything the looks the vibes the cool synths what do you get them an Oberheim well I don't have an Oberheim in my backpack I do have this for you so oh, a little yeah. a little synth book so. Thanks, Beats. so I'm here with Richard from Pittsburgh Modular. Yes. Yes. And you have done a collaboration with Create Audio and created the East Beast. Yes, we have. Yeah, the East Beast is a analog East Coast modular synthesizer. With a built-in one octave keyboard controller, you have full analog voice. The voicing is based really built on what we were doing at Pittsburgh Modular with the SV1. So we've been working on this oscillator for a long time and it's really fine-tuned. Huge buttery filter with the Pittsburgh filter and then an analog envelope and then a full patch base. Look who I found. This is too many synths. The guy who made my Eurac case. How are you feeling the event so far? I'm starting up. It's coffee time. You're not a full-time no. Eurac case maker. No. No. But how is it feeling that it's become such a big part of your life? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That, that uh, It's like Eurac, you know? Yeah. Or synths at all. You start and then it gets out of hand. It's about having something you become happy from you know yeah and i like making that i found another viewer of the channel what's your name sebastian and uh yeah you're just starting out in electronic music more or less yeah i thought it would be nice to give you uh, the v collection 9 from That's arturia good. so wow, okay yeah. Yeah. awesome so i'm here with making sound machines yes and you have an interesting 
drum sequencer, right? Yes, we are introducing the Stolper Beats. Stolper Beats is German for beats tripping over themselves. And it does very, very swung beats. It does um, the kind of stuff that you would hear on a Jay Dilla record or on a Flying Lotus record or a Hiatus Coyote, like the kind of shuffle that goes really off grid, but it's still really groovy. Hey, I'm Enrica from Making Sound Machines. I'm the electrical engineer and uh, I built the thing you can buy now <laughs> and we are very proud. So I'm here again with Fine Gear and you are getting ready to show us something really cool. As we told you last at last super booth, we're presenting the dirt magnet now. It's a full, almost a final prototype. It's a co another collection of curated effects. It contains uh, a noise source with a modulatable bandwidth filter, a crackle source with a modulatable density and level, a ring modulator, a classic one, very raw MS-20 style for filter, modulatable of course, and uh, most of all, most importantly, a tape delay, a real tape delay with a special cassette we made, with a special mechanism we made, using uh, cassette tapes. And I also know that you have another project. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay, so the Mod Mix is uh, an experimental modulatable, CV modulatable mixer with four channels, four sends, two LFOs and two envelope followers to start modulating and four stereo returns. So I'm of course not the biggest fan of classic synths, but we definitely need to check out the new Oberheim. So I'm here with Starsky Car. Starsky Car. Yeah. And I'm here with Bo. <laughs> and I have one question. Oh no. Why do you love hardware synths so much? Oh, that's an easy question, isn't it? Just, just the fact that you've got something that you can grab hold of and play with. And, you know, we spend all day on computers, emails with a mouse. And you know, you've got to think about one thing at a time as well when using a mouse and a keyboard. And you click that button, then you click that, and then you click this. When you've got a synth in front of her and you've got You've got hands on, you can twist that and twist that while you're pushing this and doing this, and all of a sudden you just get so much more inspiration from a bit of hardware than you do from software. It's just so much more fun as well. It takes you away from a computer screen and puts toys, the toys, let's face it, the toys that do cool things. So, yeah, that's why I do it. That's why I love them. So, if you were to tell us the three coolest, the three things that you think are the most interesting with the new pizza uh -huh. oscillator, what would those be? So, uh, Pizza has really cool and simplified FM. I've, I'm a huge fan of FM, like Digitone is one of my most favorite synths ever. And uh, Pizza does it like really simple, plus there is wave shaping that makes the FM a lot more complex. On top of that, there is a dedicated octave oscillator output that you can mix in and get like the boost in the low end. And there is also pulse output, so if you mix the outputs and then filter them, it's like the perfect like hybrid synthesis. So it's it, it's very digital and additive, but also works super well in the subjective context.
because I just had a play with Ergosyn's Percons last year. I showcased it, but they demoed it for me. And this year I got to try it hands-on. It's living up to my expectations. It's very hands-on, it's very fast. It's easy to understand what everything is doing on it. Yeah, and you can also parameter lock, you can record some automations. It's just a very fun drum machine. So I'm here with Koda at Superboot. Uh, yeah, just one of the guys watching my channel, I guess. Yeah, for sure. So I want you to have this. <gasps> Thank you so much. <laughs> Let us know about the three things that makes this synth special. It's thick, it looks good, and it's a DIY kit. I found another uh, channel viewer. Hi there. What's your name? Uh, Andy Booth. So this is from me to you. Oh wow, that's amazing. It's the craft scene. It's the original, the old craft Okay, scene. okay. And so it's a little like DIY thing. Fantastic. I appreciate it. No, no problem. Thank you very much. So I found another uh, viewer of the channel and he said he likes Bastel gear. So you know what? Here's a, here's a castle drum for you. It's a gift from me to you. You can have it. products that might have snuck past you are these pedals from IQ Multimedia. They are also the main sponsor of the Superboot coverage. There's the vibe, which is like the chorus, flanger type effects. Then we have the space, which is the big reverbs. Then we have the time, which is the delay. And then we have the drive, which is like the distortion stuff. The sound, the build, and the feel is really nice. It's an all metal chassis. We have stereo in, stereo out, full-sized DIN MIDI, expression control and USB. And since I'm obviously a man of fashion, I quite like the color scheme here. Big thank you to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this event coverage from Superbooth and be sure to give them some love for sending this Swede to Berlin. Check them out, linked in the description. Let's go and talk to Paul from PWM who makes the Malevolent and see if he has something exciting to tell us. So when we started, we uh, we like to work as a collective. So the first product, the Malevolent, is partnered with Future Sound Systems and Ben Supper. But we, um, as soon as we launched, we basically kicked off three projects at the same time. So we're already with a different group of engineers into the second product and the third product. The third product, I can say absolutely nothing about. Come on. Uh, well, okay. What I can say is. Um, um, we had the idea that we would like to do a, an analog synth, a hybrid synth, and a digital synth. So that's those are the categories that the three projects fit All under. Right. And then we can continue as we go to develop. So the, more like so the second line. synth is that the hybrid one? That's or? hybrid. Yeah, ah, yeah, okay, yeah. So hybrid. that's digital oscillators and then all analog signal path. Um, oh, really? That, yeah. Really? What kind of oscillators are we looking at? Um, I can't uh, say too can't much. Say much more. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, this, okay. This is, 
there's two and a sub, but I won't say more than that. They're tables. Um, we will do, we're doing some IP work on sampling this and many other things to get some kind of interesting wave tables into there, make it sound quite unique. And also awesome. reusing the sounds that we're creating in our other lines. So it's also part of a family of products. Yeah, so we can look forward to at least one or maybe two new synths from PWM in the future. Oh, yes, certainly. Book. PO speak or a Basel Micro Granny 2 and you can have either one. Oh, I'll, I'll go for this one. The Micro Granny. Yes, thank you very That's much. That's a good choice. That was a good uh, fortuitous meeting at the station. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. No problem. <laughs> Hello, hi, this is Manu, Manu Ratamero, and we are at the Befaco booth at the Spanish corner. Uh, this super booth, we are presenting the ACDC uh, DC couple audio interface for channels in, for channels out. This uh, module is a collaboration with Rebel Technology. It's the new iteration on the old family. A part of being an audio interface, you can load all the patches you get from the Rebel uh, library. All the patches that are uh, used on the, our Leech module can be on the ACDC. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, an audio interface and it can be anything you want. I found another viewer of the channel and I just want to give you something. Hello, book about synthesizers oh, wow. for you, for you yeah. and the missus. That's awesome, thank you very much. No problem. Great. All right, so all the gifts have been given, met a lot of amazing people, seen a lot of fun stuff, and now I'm tired, ready to go home to Sweden, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to check out the sponsor that brought me here, that brought you this coverage, IK Multimedia. I've linked them down below, and I hope to see you in another video.